To other news now, and seatbelts are being credited with saving the lives of 24 tourists on board a minibus heading to the Twelve Apostles. As Sonia Marinelli explains, the bus and a car collided head-on south of Geelong, killing the sedan's driver and seriously injuring his passenger. It was supposed to be a day of excitement and discovery. Instead, chaos. Oh, it's like a bomb. A makeshift triage set up on the side of the road, treating the dazed and injured tourists, many of them foreigners, with little or no English. Police say a blue Honda sedan veered into the path of the oncoming minibus, sending it careering into an embankment and forcing it on its side. On board, 24 tourists and the driver, all escaping with their lives. Passengers... Um on the bus were conveyed to Geelong with minor injuries and the rest of the passengers were conveyed to Geelong just for observation. Sheep farmer Mehmet Saban and his wife Tune were among the first on the scene. They were bleeding on the pace and, and all that. It was horrible. Aged in his 30s, the sedan's driver from Melbourne's northern suburbs died at the scene. His passenger sustained facial and abdominal injuries and was flown to the Alfred in a serious condition. Earlier, the bus driver had instructed his passengers to buckle up before they set off for the Great Ocean Road this morning. It was this, police believe, that prevented a far greater death toll. If the seatbelts weren't worn, we definitely would have had more serious injuries. The impact on Mount Dunede Road in Mount Dunede occurring where the speed limit changes from 80 to 90 kilometres an hour. For the last few years, residents along this road have been campaigning to have the speed limit reduced from 90 down to at least 70. They say they've been waiting for something like this to happen and when they woke up this morning, their fears were finally realised. I was expecting something like this to happen, but I, they just keep ignoring you. Sonny Marinelli. Nine News. To other news now, and seatbelts are being credited with saving the lives of 24 tourists on board a minibus heading to the Twelve Apostles. As Sonia Marinelli explains, the bus and a car collided head-on south of Geelong, killing the sedan's driver and seriously injuring his passenger. It was. To other news now, and seatbelts are being credited with saving the lives of 24 tourists on board a minibus heading to the Twelve Apostles. As Sonia Marinelli explains, the bus and a car collided head-on south of Geelong, killing the sedan's driver and seriously injuring his passenger. It was supposed to be a day of excitement and discovery.